Welcome back to a new episode of The Drum Chef. Today, uh, it's kind of a rainy day outside, and Jules and I decided we're going to make... Donuts! Donuts! I used to drink, I used to smoke, and then I dance. I used to drink, I used to smoke, and then I dance. Well, I'll come the river. The first thing you want to do... Okay, the first thing you want to do is heat your oven up to 425 degrees. The second thing is if you have a tray like this, it's a little donut tray, it's going to make your life a little bit easier. Um, I'm going to bake these donuts. I'm not going to fry them as tempted as I am to do that. I'm not going to. Um, there's two different kinds of donuts. One is like a yeast donut and the other is like more like a cakey kind of donut. So this can be the cakey kind, okay? So we've got cake flour, sugar, baking powder, nutmeg, buttermilk, two eggs, and some melted butter, and we're basically going to um, make our donuts. First things first, we're going to spray our pan, okay? With pan. Next, we need flour. So basically we need two cups of cake flour. Just put it in here. Yeah. So what we're going to do here is, some flour is usually pre-sifted, and I'm going to basically just sift it myself using just my little strainer here. So now we have to add in three quarters of a cup of white sugar. To that, I'm going to add two teaspoons of baking powder. And I'm just going to add a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. If you have fresh nutmeg, you can use that too. And finally, I'm just going to add a teaspoon of salt. Or a little bit less if you want. So to this what we do is we're going to add three quarters of a cup of buttermilk. Just pour it in there, just Good. And to that we'll add this. This is two tablespoons of melted butter. And lastly to that we're just going to add two lightly beaten eggs. But just put it in. And lastly, what we're going to do is we're just going to beat this until it's all mixed together. Okay? Good. Good. And lastly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill each of these little donut hole things, uh, two thirds full, um, with the dough. So basically, I fill these up somewhere, or actually a little bit more than I want to. Uh, I'm going to put in my oven. 425 degrees for seven to nine minutes um, until they've risen quite a bit and they're just sort of springy when I touch them. Okay, so let's see what happens. Okay, Jules wants me to put uh, some sprinkles on uh, one or two of them, so I'll do that. And I'm gonna give you a couple other toppings you can do. So this one's pretty easy. This is just like a sugar coated sugar cinnamon. Got two tablespoons of sugar, and I've got just a tablespoon of cinnamon. And I'm also going to do a chocolate glazed donuts because that's my favorite. So I'm going to take a quarter cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips. Mm. That I'm going to add a tablespoon of butter. I'm going to add a tablespoon of corn syrup. Mm -hmm. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in the microwave and just microwave it um, like half power if you can, just for a minute or two until it all melts. I think this is exactly what I'm looking for. Obviously they're not perfect donuts, but they're going to taste great. So what we have to do is just let these rest now for about four to five minutes in the tray, and then they'll be ready for our toppings. Okay, you can see my chocolate here is all nicely melted. It's mm, perfect. Put it in the butter. Put in my cinnamon. My chocolate ones, you actually just put right in the chocolate. Can I have a bite? Mm -hmm. That is a good donut. Mm -hmm. 
So I hope you enjoyed this quick little episode of Drunk Chef making some donuts at home. Really easy, and they are good. They beat anything you'll ever have. Thanks a lot. We'll see you next time.